All right, the next one, Sleep Deprivation and Likelihood of Injury by Miluki and others, 2014. So uh, basically what they showed was athletes who slept on average less than eight hours per night had a 1.7 times greater risk of being injured than those who slept eight hours or more. 1.7 times increased risk of injury. And, and that's a threshold of eight hours. And I know a lot of athletes that are only getting five hours, six hours. So we need to sleep. And of course, I don't think they're looking at quality of sleep. Quality of sleep matters, right? Like if you get a any type of like app that measures your sleep or like a, the, the Whoop watch that I've used in the past, they'll measure like your sleep disturbance and all that kind of stuff. That stuff is all really, really important. Uh, but just looking at the peer quantity you got to be getting over eight hours of sleep every single night, and you can't make up for that, right? So as athletes, we go, well, okay, I'm just going to stay up all night tonight, and then tomorrow night, I'm going to sleep double. Well, that doesn't really work, so you can't really make up for sleep. You need your eight hours per night. Now, could you take naps throughout the day? To add to that, yes, I think you can. Uh, Calvin has never ridden. He's never been in a vehicle without falling asleep. Uh, It's pretty incredible. As soon as his head hits the Tesla seats, he's out for an hour all the way to L.A. He's like a little baby. It's like I put him to sleep. I'm his father. So, uh, yeah, Calvin's a mess. So Calvin gets his nap because he probably doesn't get his eight hours of sleep, which he should be. And so he's at 1.7 times greater risk of injury than me because I get nine hours every night. That's a lie. I get like eight, but there are times. So as a business owner or as an athlete, a lot of times we're just like, it's all about the grind. I got to go all in on the grind. And, um, we pride ourselves on working all day and getting less sleep. Okay. That's probably the opposite. So like for me with where I'm at, I can't produce my best work. I can't think at a very high level when I'm getting four or five hours of sleep. And so, yeah, you're putting in more total hours per day, but they're less productive hours. If I get eight or nine hours of sleep, I can work less that next day and produce more and stay focused for longer. So, you know, you got to take everything into account. It's not just more is better. You got to look at the quality of work that you're doing. And so when we're looking at injury prevention, another big rock along with our strength training and our proprioception and our nutrition is sleep. Go take a nap.